Hello! This demo illustrates our capabilities for implementing incremental learning on streaming data. We'll use our monitoring cooling system in manufacturing as context, but similar challenges exist in many other contexts. Let's begin by understanding why incremental learning is needed. The standard AI workflow assumes you collect data, train your model, deploy this model to your production system, and you are done. Or so you think. Unfortunately, in many real-world applications, properties of the data may change over time or differ across the environment where you deploy your model. To illustrate, let's look at deploying a battery state of charge estimation across a fleet of vehicles in different geographies. Batteries and how fast they discharge are sensitive to the temperature. The temperature distribution is very different between a moderate climate like Europe, shown on the left, and the heat of the African desert. Your battery monitoring system needs to take that into account, and you may want to adapt the generic model to the operating conditions where a vehicle actually is used. That's one of the use cases where incremental learning can help. A second is when machine learning task itself evolves over time. You need to identify conditions that weren't present during initial training. In our example, imagine you want to add a condition to your battery monitoring system that alerts the driver when the battery discharges unusually quickly, like for vehicles operated in very cold conditions in Siberia. You may not be able to collect sufficient data until you deploy vehicles to those extreme conditions. How does incremental learning work? Conceptually, an incremental learner receives data on an ongoing basis, regularly checks whether models need to be adapted, which you need to operationalize with some criteria. When the criteria is met, model parameters are updated, yet all the while the model delivers predictions that are used in your intelligent application. In our demo, a monitoring dashboard. In MATLAB, you can do this using a new construct called an incremental learner. Let's understand what technologies you can employ to implement this architecture. You can stream data using frameworks like Apache Kafka or Azure Event Hub. Alternatively, you can access the data in databases or process historians. MATLAB Production Server lets you scale deployed systems to handle lots of streaming data or to multiple simultaneous inquiries, like coming from vehicle operators all over the world or closer to our actual demo from manufacturing equipment located in several different plants. Model parameters could be stored in the Redis in-memory database for high-speed access. Web App Server lets you deploy a monitoring dashboard built using App Designer, or use other commercial dashboards like Tableau, Spotfire, or Power BI. Before we dive into the actual demo, let's understand the context of an industrial monitoring system. Imagine a plant with machinery that generates heat, and cooling equipment like fans keep the temperature from rising. A human operator is available to intervene when an issue arises. To facilitate automated monitoring, the equipment is instrumented with sensors that deliver the temperature of the machinery, the voltage applied to the cooling equipment, and the actual fan speed. With this context, Let's walk through how the incremental learning architecture actually plays out. The demo uses the MATLAB Kafta connector to stream sensor data and MATLAB production server to host the incremental learner. Sensor readings are uploaded to the monitor server using Kafka. The server could be on-premise or in the cloud. Cooling status predictions are delivered to monitoring personnel using a dashboard. An operator can override any decisions the system makes. Their actions provide labels periodically that are then used to check the data for drift and update the models if needed. The model is updated when the error exceeds a threshold, or alternatively you can apply drift detection. The model update will likely be performed by your data science team and the updated model continues to monitor system health. 
Here you're looking at a sample of the actual data we received from this monitoring system. The model is trying to distinguish three conditions. First, there is an issue with the fan, like some debris got stuck in the casing, interfering with the spinning blades. Next, the machinery may be on high load, thus generates more heat than normal. And normal operating condition. During a period of fan issue, you can see the fan speed omega drop while the system tries to compensate by increasing voltage. During high load, the temperature increases and the system reacts by increasing voltage and fan speed. Here you see the prototype monitoring dashboard we've built. On the left side, you see the sensor measurements streaming into the system. The data looks quite different from what I just showed because of the difference in scale. Here you see a window of 1200 samples that we feed into the incremental learner, while the previous graph showed 30,000 samples. The system status is represented by the round button in the upper right corner, distinguishing normal, high load and fan issue. The graph in the middle illustrates the status of the incremental learner, plotting the error measured on batches of data that came with labels, like from the operator confirming status. Whenever the error exceeds a threshold, the incremental learner is updated with labeled data, namely whatever has been received since the last update. You can see the impact of the update with the error dropping below the threshold. Here's the structure of the loop at the core of an incremental learning algorithm. First, you check for new data, like from the Kafka stream. Next, you extract features if needed. In our demo, we got away without feature extraction because the data signatures are very distinct. Then you check whether derived has occurred. If so, you apply the incremental learner and get the model parameters updated. Otherwise, you simply apply the current model to obtain predictions on the new data. Let's look at key elements of the implementation. First, we need to initialize the incremental learner here with knife base, though other models are available. And we also need to open the Kafka streams. In this demo, we have separate streams, one for unlabeled data and one for the occasional labeled data. Next is the incremental learning loop. We expect new data and read it. If there is new data, we apply the prediction with the current model and then update our dashboard accordingly. Additionally, we check whether new label data is available. If so, we compute the current error or loss. And if that's above a threshold, we update the model and metrics. Alternatively, you could apply drift detection here. We demonstrated capabilities and a system architecture for deploying machine learning into systems that need to adapt to their environment. That's changing. Aside from monitoring a cooling system as shown in the demo, where would you apply this? Here are some examples. Changing conditions in manufacturing. Adapting to individuals for health and wellness applications. Or in transport systems. Also batteries and in other intelligent controls in vehicles and heavy machinery. And finally, beam selection in wireless communications. To wrap this up, here are some capabilities that are available in MATLAB and could extend the applicability of what we showed to your specific project, even if it wasn't included in this demo. Namely, applying our drift detection to detect when the model needs updated instead of using a simple criteria threshold. Second, ingesting data from a database or a process historian or from a Simulink model. Please reach out to us if you'd like to explore streaming incremental learning for your AI-powered applications. Thank you for your attention.